It's a family business. It started a long time ago with women's fashion, actually. Uh, started by my mother, who was a PR, who was also a stylist. Uh, and uh, she was really the first uh, to launch a designer's trade show in Paris. It was called uh, Workshop. Uh, it was really a very uh, uh, tiny selection of uh, up-and-coming designers. Uh, my mother was very famous in that uh, circle of fashion. And uh, the show developed and then stopped, then we launched another show. And at some point we had the idea, because some people were asking for it, to integrate children's fashion into that women's show. After two seasons, we realized that there was something really of a demand there because there was nothing really at that time in Paris. So we launched Playtime. It started with 44 brands seven years ago and is now showcasing 400 brands in Paris. The concept at the time was very new because it was the first show that was uh, giving a possibility for buyers to get all kinds of collection from all universes, which means there was children's fashion, there was childcare, there was maternity, there was deco design, there's all the fields related to children's maternity as well. What we really wanted here at Playtime, and I think this is one of the main difference, is that it's an inspiring trade show. A very, very inspiring trade show. There's a human contact, however big the show is, one always feels one is in a small show. You go through the alleys and you haven't reached alley C that you realize that you're running out of time and there's still another 10 alleys after that to see. It's just that you want to stop everywhere because everything looks fabulous, I think, at the show. This is what we want. Inspiration, excitement. It's all about fashion, style, design, deco maternity with fashion it's another thing it's another world it's we're talking about style here most of all i'd say the main difference between playtime and most other shows is that you're going to meet designers here most of the time not distributors not agents but the designers themselves which is very important i think because most of the collections we have here and one important thing is that there is a selection process in that show um, most of the collections that come here are uh, inspired collections, are collections that have a history, that have a universe, that have themes, that have uh, an atmosphere. If you're going to be selling those collections in your shop, you need to know what they're about. And you need to talk to the designers, you need to know what's the story behind those collections. We have always had trend spaces at the show. Uh, and have always wanted to bring art into fashion as well because they've always been very close to each other. So every season we find new and upcoming artists to work with us on the trend spaces. We decide of uh, a theme for the season and we ask them to work on it and see what their inspiration brings there. And so there's an installation and it's an art installation. Every single trend space at the show is basically an art installation associated with a trend space. Playtime is probably the most international show there is. There are dozens of countries coming to the show from all over the world. There's about 60% of international visitors among visitors who come to Playtime. There's about 60% of international buyers coming to Playtime Paris, about 70% of brands exhibiting here that come from all over the world. And when I say all over the world, it's everywhere. It's Australia, it's Japan, Korea, United States, all over Europe, everywhere, South America, South Africa, from everywhere really. That gives it a completely different sensation. There's so much exchange here. It's a very international feeling and it shows the atmosphere is something completely different. So if a brand needs to reach out to international buyers, this is definitely a show. We expanded to Tokyo first uh, and afterwards decided to expand it to New York. Uh, the reason why we did that is that we felt there was a need for a good Asian trade show um, more directed towards a local market that doesn't travel really. 
The reason why we went to New York is the same one as well, is that we were in contact with lots of American collections who kept telling us, well, do something in New York, because there is nothing similar to that, really. There are other shows in America. Uh, none really is uh, close to what Playtime is. Uh, we're trying to give buyers in America something extremely uh, international, um, stylish, and inspiring. When we say inspiring, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be crazily expensive, it's so much more expensive than anywhere else. That's something people have uh, mistaken most of the time. It just means that you can show collections in an inspiring way. I mean, if you're designing something beautiful, you want it to be showcased in a beautiful way as well.